What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning the undefeated, undisputed, welterweight champion of the world, Terrence Bud Crawford, and his thoughts on an immediate rematch with Spence, and he says it definitely don't have to be at 147. Okay, and this is what he said. He said it definitely don't have to be at 147. Um, he said, when asked about the rematch, he said, like I said, you know, I'm in a hurt in the hurt business. Making 47 was kind of hard for me too. I was already taking, talking about moving up and fighting Charlo. So 54 wouldn't be out of reach of anything. And he said, it's something I got to talk to my, well, that's, um, <clears throat> Spence indicated about Crawford and let me counter punch. First off, since it was already um, as, already an issue with Crawford as well to make 147, because, you know, the word around the campfire now is uh, Errol Spence looked weight drained. Okay, so since if that's what they're going with, oh, well, because you know it was going to be an excuse anyway. However, what's going to add with that is that Crawford is also and had problems making weight and he's older. So what do you think that means? That means you can't use that as an excuse because Terrence Crawford had the same challenges and tribulations that Errol Spence did. So since that's the case, that's hard to really just bank on and die on the hill on simply because Crawford knows what it's like. You know what I mean? And, and regardless of what he had to go through, he was still able to go through and upside Errol Spence's head much. OK. So nothing is really a problem with Terrence Crawford at this point. I think if anything, if Errol Spence wants to push for this fight, he will be the one that really pushes it just like I feel Terrence Crawford wanted it and pushed it before. I just think he just got tired of the BS and decided to, you know, step down and fight David Avenesian, you know, because things drug along and nobody really understood why, you know, but. For the fight, for me, it being at 154 or not, um, I would prefer it being at 154. Why? For the fighters. It will help them so they don't have to starch themselves for 147. Terrence Crawford's older. Errol Spence is getting bigger. So I don't think uh, that should be a burden for those guys. I think it would help them out coming in at 154. Uh, what and what what would they fight for, though? I don't know. Um and also, it will be no excuse on Team Spence. You know, we don't want to have the Mr. I have a thousand excuses for everything Wilder. We don't have to use any of those excuses again because that's the another excuse that he used for another fighter, which was Errol Spence. So if they do go to 154, we don't have to hear that again. You know, so because I don't want to hear any excuses. Just like Errol said, I don't I don't want to give any excuses. But at the same time, it's like this. Well, hey, um, <laughs> I'm coming in at 154. I should fight better. I shouldn't have my problems. And if Terrence beats me again, it won't be no fault of my own or my team's. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Terrence Crawford willing to go to 154 pounds to take on Errol the Truth Spence. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.